Oh, hi there. <laughs> nice to see you again. Uh, we'll try that again. Oh, hey, hey there. I know that's kind of a cliche for people to, you know, be doing that on their computer and then turn around as if somebody's there. It's pretty cliche, but I'm gonna do it anyway because that's the kind of guy I am. If you have been uh, just alive for the past week, you know that we are in a crazy time right now. Um, the thing is, it's not actually physically crazy. People aren't, you know, like super busy like we were before, but we actually got less busy and we kind of don't know what to do with ourselves, do we? Um, the first couple of days, people were scrambling to get toilet paper and water and Purell and just, you know, not trying to spit on their hands. You shouldn't do that, by the way. Um, and it's just been a wild ride the last few days. So I'm here to kind of update you on what I've been doing for the past few days. While it has been a little crazy, you know, in the world, people are, you know, kind of losing their stuff a little bit. And there's a little real sense of anxiety, a real sense of something going on that I can't really pinpoint it. It's definitely different. Things are gonna change as soon as this is all over and they are changing right now, it's kind of forcing us into a new way of thinking about how we run our businesses, how we run our world and how we uh, interact with one another, you know, at least not only physically, but also remotely as well. How do we actually become a remote workforce? You know, about a quarter of, I'm not sure the actual statistics, I'm just making something up, but about a quarter of us, we're working remotely already, maybe less than that, you know, in the world, we kind of got used to it and we know different ways of approaching this thing, but now, you know, another quarter or half of the country, you know, all these office type jobs are going remote now. And a lot of people, you know, it might be kind of adjusting to that. So we need to have patience with each other as we learn and patience with uh, the technology and patience with just the time that we're at home. Because even I've been finding myself sort of losing my mind a little bit, like getting sort of stir crazy um, because of the situation. See, I'm at home all the time anyway, but for some reason that uh, extra weight from this sort of uh, palpable, you know, atmosphere that we are, we're creating right now is creating some anxiety even in my own head. And I know that things are gonna be okay, but I still momentarily get this, you know, a little bit of panic, a little bit of fear and anxiety and whatever else you wanna call it. Uh, I definitely experience that from time to time, especially as the day wanes. Uh, at the end of the day, when my willpower has gone kaput, I will be just, on a whole different level of anxiety and frustration. So anyway, I'm going to, besides my problems, want to update you. I sent it off to, we sent it off to the client because the director was loving the cut. We sent it off to the client. I need to stop clapping because I'm gonna mess up the old, this thing. See how I'm doing this? Cause I'm in my fancy shirt today. So I am clipping things to me now, so because I'm professional that way. I've been doing this for 15 years and this is how you do it. Just kidding. Don't ever lapel anybody like this unless you absolutely necessarily have to. You should always hide it. But I'm being lazy, I'm barefoot, I haven't shaved in days, and the shirt's faded. So, seems to be the uh, way to do things right now. So anyway, you get it, right? I ain't gotta tell you. Set off a rough cut. Client loves it where it is. Uh, pretty good, had some minor feedback, like taking out some ums and ahs, which is good things to do anyway when you're a commercial editor. Learn how to take out ums, any sort of uh, ancillary uh, words that are repetitive. If people go la 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 la, if they stutter, take out the stutter. If you can cover it up, um, take out, like I said, any extra words. Some, some people might say stuff like, you know, Often also, whenever you don't need the second word, just take out also. So often something, you know, you know, you just make it a more complete sentence. Now, okay, and there was this sort of issue. There was one story related note that had to do with 
sticking something a little more positive at the beginning. Right now we had this character development at the beginning of these five different uh, students who were going through the process of this school, right? And at the beginning, we sort of like hit on a lot of their, how they were sort of looking for something different in their life and in their career. And it was a little more negative uh, feeling, not necessarily negative per se, but it just felt a little more downtrodden or whatever to kind of get you hooked into them empathetically because we can all associate with these characters. Uh, the brand came back and was like, you know, we need to start with a little more positivity at the beginning and connect with these people. Yes, they came from something uh, that we can all relate to, but they are also now have jobs because of this. So we want to start with the fact that these people are actually employed right now. So what I did was there was actually some bits of the director cut or, or shot and I interjected that at the beginning. So they stuffed the stage like, I'm such and such and I'm a software developer, I'm Bill, and I'm a systems engineer, I'm Rebecca, and I'm a Java develop developer. Uh, so they actually have real jobs now. And we wanted to put that up front, I can see their argument for it. I went ahead and did it anyway. We might go back, you never know, right? But I put it at the beginning anyway, just to kind of see how it felt, and it actually feels pretty good. So we start off with like, a little bit of their uh, empathy statement, sort of like, so, one of them was, you know, I used to be a truck driver. That's the only life I ever knew. knew. My name is Rick, and now I'm a software developer. So, yeah, that's basically what we did. Just sort of flush that out a little bit more. It did make it a little bit longer. I trimmed some here and there, added some more bites about the community. So, really, this process has been more of the refining stage. This is the, I call it the 80-20 rule when it comes to editing. You know, you do, like... 80% of the editing and then, you know, uh, you know how 80, 20 rule is right. Where it's like 80% of the effort gets you 20% of the results. Um, that's sort of the, you can look it up, Google 80, 20 rule, and it'll tell you all about it. I'm not going to get into it, but it applies to editing for sure. At least for me, it seems like the bulk of the 80% of the editing takes, it, it can go pretty quick. It takes a while still, but that last 20%, is where 80% of your payoff comes from. So anyway, uh, this last 20% of time is actually gonna give us 80% of our efforts, so the refining process. And it's actually, this last 20% of the edit takes 80% of your time because you are refining, you're going back and forth, uh, trying to figure this thing out. Um, so yeah, it's a good rule to, to learn as it applies to, uh, to editing videos. So if you learn anything, if you, Notice this in your own editing, uh, take note of it and really just sort of figure that out for yourself. What is taking the most time and where, what is getting you the most results? And I'm, I'm sort of still panning that out on my end and as I, um, as that revelation comes to me more and more, I'll let you know and I'll write it down. I'll give something to you to, to show you for that. But right now I'm just kind of unraveling my mind with this project. Thanks for listening. Uh, I'm hoping to uh, get another cut out to them later this week in the middle of this pandemic. It's, it's Thursday right now, March the 19th. And I get another out, cut to them out tomorrow. And yeah, other than that, life is good. We're just trying to take it easy and stay sane. You guys stay sane out there too. Stay safe. Uh, let me know in the comments what it is. Uh, that you find to take the longest in your edits? What What is it, you know, what is that 80% of your time? Where is that coming from? Is it dealing with clients? Is it trying to figure out what tools to use? I'm not sure where you are in your editing stage, but, you know, just let me know in the comments and I, I'd be happy to um, converse with you about it. Uh, I'm here. I ain't got nothing to do, so except to edit a little bit, but I'll be here if you want to catch up. So thank you very much. Subscribe as well if you haven't. Peace.